Hello, and welcome to the Business Services Team Web Guide for Time Clock Requests for Time Off. In this tutorial, we will discuss how to create and delete leave requests, as well as how to view accrual balances. In order to access the time clock, you must first input your six-digit employee ID number. Press Continue, and then input your PIN number at the prompt. Your PIN number is the last four digits of your Social Security number. Then press Continue. All requests for time off functions are accessed through the self-service menu. To input a new request for time off, press Requests. Requests for time off can only be keyed for the future. In order to use leave for a prior absence, please contact your timekeeper for assistance. There are several pre-made templates that allow for easy selection of full or half-day leave requests. Your options will vary based on your workday length and whether you earn vacation leave. First, select the template that best fits your request, sick, vacation, and personal, for full day, half day, or other. Other allows entry for leave other than a full or half day. Press Edit and then input the date for your request for time off, then press OK. Press Start Time if the start time does not match the time your requested leave is to begin. Select the correct time, then press OK. For an entry other than a full or half day, you can edit your hours. Press the Hours field and delete the existing hour amount. Input the correct number of hours, then press Hide. For leave requests that will repeat over more than one day in a row, Press the Days field and input the number of days the leave will repeat, then press Hide. Once your request is complete, press Save and then OK. Your request for time off will then be submitted to your supervisor for review. You can also use the time clock to delete pending requests. Only requests that have been neither approved nor rejected can be deleted. For assistance in removing an approved request, please see your timekeeper. In order to access the time clock, you must first input your six-digit employee ID number. Press Continue and then input your PIN number at the prompt. Your PIN number is the last four digits of your Social Security number. Then press Continue. All leave functions are accessed through the self-service menu. To delete a leave request, press Requests. If the leave is not within the pre-selected date range, you must change the date range. Press Select and input the date range that includes the leave request you are deleting. Then press Select again. Press on the leave request that you are deleting, then press Remove. A confirmation message will appear to verify the deletion of your request. Press Yes and the request will be deleted. Press Close to leave the request deletion screen. You may use the time clock to view current and projected leave accrual balances. In order to access the time clock, you must first input your six-digit employee ID number. Press Continue and then input your PIN number at the prompt. Your PIN number is the last four digits of your Social Security number, then press Continue. Accrual balances are accessed through the self-service menu. Press Accruals to access your accrual balances. Accruals include all absences taken and requested through the date displayed on the screen. You can see your current balance as well as projected usage on this screen. Note that this does not include any projected increase in accrual balances. To change the date leave balances are projected through, press Select and input the projection date, then press OK. Once you are finished viewing your accrual balances, press Close. To log out of the time clock, press Cancel and then Log Off. Thank you for taking the time to view this Time Clock Plus web guide. We hope it was helpful and informative and encourage you to reach out to your location's timekeeper for assistance if you encounter any issues with your time clock.